This is Gerardo Del Real with Resource Stock Digest. Joining me today is the CEO of one of my favorite lith lithium speculations in the space, Q2 Metals, Miss Alicia Milne. Alicia, it's great to have you back on. Exciting times for Q2. I know it was a bit of a frustrating spring and summer with the fire ban. We talked a bit off air. I'm glad everyone was safe. But you've been back to site recently. The team was active. You've accomplished a whole heck of a lot in a short amount of time. And you've now extended the exploration trend to 9.7 kilometers. So a lot to get into. First and foremost, how are you today? I'm good. Thank you, Gerardo. How are you? I am excellent. Thank you for asking. Let's jump right into it. The most recent release, as I mentioned, extends the exploration trend to 9.7 kilometers there were a total of 136 individual pegmatite outcrops that have been mapped. And the part that was really interesting to me is that there were four new spodumene pegmatite occurrences that had been discovered, but three of those were located between two previously known mineralized zones, which I think obviously speaks to the potential continuity of the system, which is going to be important if you're able to prove up some scale. Can you speak to what the team saw and, and just how you were able to get so much done in the short amount of time that you were there? Well, I think it, it speaks to the quality of the team that Neil and uh, his associate, the Darush, put together. They were extremely excited to be out there and, you know, they worked hard while they were there. They had two weeks of actual boots on the ground, you know, finally getting out there, mapping and sampling and just, you know, seeing the area like, I haven't been there before and to actually be there, I was there for 10 days with the crew and um, yeah, just the scale of the project and, and Northern Quebec itself is just, it's amazing. Obviously there's, you know, the, the elephant in the room is Patriot battery metals and, and, you know, I've been on record saying, look, Patriot and Corvette is, is unique. Right. But I have also been on record saying, that I think the next significant discovery that comes out of James Bay is going to be at MIA and it's going to be delivered by the Q2 team. So speaking to the quality of the people working on the project and the quality of the project, when do we get to see those drills turning? I know you're on a, on a bit of a pause here um, until mid-October, but are we ready to go with uh, contractors and drills and, and, and get into it as soon as you're able to? Absolutely. I mean, we've been ready since I would say June, middle of June. Uh, Neil had his team assembled and we had, you know, our drillers set ready to go as soon as the fires were done. But unfortunately, that continued on and um, we're essentially, you know, we didn't get any work done in the summertime, unfortunately, but we're back there now and we anticipate having our first drill turning mid October when we get back out there. Excellent. As far as target delineation, how is, is, is Neil, how are you, how is the team going about that? Because clearly there's a focus on several specific targets. Have you prioritized those yet? And I assume that we're probably going to get a news release on that here in the next several weeks. Well, with the, when the geo crew was out there this past two weeks, they took, you know, over 200 rock samples and they did extensive mapping. But I think between Neil and the project manager, Nate Schmidt, they um, they have an idea of where they want to start drilling. And I think the the results of the sample aren't going to affect where they actually want to start drilling. So I think we have a few drill targets in mind and uh, it's just a matter of, you know, getting ready to go and getting back out there. Excellent. Well, Alicia, it, it's great to have you on. I'm excited to see the drills turning. I can't wait to see what the initial results look like. Looking forward to having you back on. Anything else to add to that? Um, no, just, you know, we're well-funded. We're, we're excited to get back out there. We have warrants that are in the money that, you know, once those drills start turning, hopefully they'll continue to be in the money and we'll get those exercised and we'll continue on. It's going to be a, a fun and exciting next six months. Looking forward to it. Most definitely plan on exercising, not just the warrants that we have, you know, from the initial financing, but also the more recent ones that are at higher price points. I suspect that by the end of the fall, early winter, we're trading at dollars, not cents. And uh, I think the drill bit's going to be the key to unlock that. Thank you so much for coming on. I appreciate it. Thank you, Gerardo, for having me. Hey everybody, Gerardo Del Real here. If you're enjoying the content that you just saw, you can let us know in three simple steps. 
hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and please share across your network and on social media. Take care, everybody.